you want to read? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll read Logic Comics. You can okay. read mine. So just do the same thing? Oh, hi there. <laughs> this is James. Uh, this is my friend Elliot. And you're watching Philosophy Time. You got one I guess we're going to talk about abortion and um, early stage abortion. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, All right. So. <laughs> In some of my work, I defend a liberal position about early abortion. So, I defend the view that there's nothing morally bad about early abortion. So, a lot of people think, well, it's permissible to have an abortion, but something bad happens when the fetus dies. And I think... Um, if a fetus hasn't ever been conscious, it hasn't ever had any experiences, and we abort it at that stage, that actually nothing morally bad happens. Um, and this view might seem unattractive, because it might seem that it dictates a cold attitude towards all early fetuses. But what I think is that actually, among early fetuses, there are two very different kinds of beings. So, James, when you were an early fetus, and Elliot, when you were an early fetus, yeah. all of us, I think that we already did have moral status then, but we had moral status in virtue of our futures, in virtue of the fact that we were the beginning stages of persons. But some early fetuses will die in early in pregnancy, either due to abortion or miscarriage. And in my view, that's a very different kind of entity. That's something that doesn't have a future as a person, and it doesn't have moral status. Why would we think that what's actually going to happen to a fetus in the future is going to make this big difference between having some moral status and, and, and not? I mean, it seems and, like... And can't you only judge that in hindsight? Right, so there's a real question of how could we know? Well, often we do know. So often if we know that a woman is planning to get an abortion and we know that abortion is available to her, then we know that that fetus is going to die, that it's not the kind. it's not a kind of thing like like the fetuses that became us. It's not something with moral status, on my view. Um, often we have reason to believe that a fetus is the beginning stage of a person. So if we know that a, wo it, that a woman is planning to continue her pregnancy, then we have good reason to think that her fetus is something with moral status, something with, the, with this future as a person. So what you're saying is if the fetus is never destined to become a person, it doesn't have moral status. If a woman decides to have an abortion with an early fetus, just that act or that intention negates the the moral status of that early fetus. Just because we, she, if she goes has, and has an abortion, she's pretty certain that it's not going to become a person. Right. So it might look like, on my view, abortion is permissible because you had the abortion. <laughs> yeah. But that abortion wouldn't have been permissible right. if you didn't have the abortion. Right. Well, that's not quite so. Okay. That's not quite the view for I think two different reasons. Okay. So one reason is that um, even so, you have moral status, and back and in my view, back when you were an early fetus, you had moral status. But it's not that aborting you would have been wrong, because if your mother had chosen to abort her pregnancy, then it wouldn't have been the case that you would have had moral status because you would have died as an early fetus. So she would have been aborting something that didn't have moral status. So it's not, so my view isn't that if you do abort, abortion is okay, but if you don't abort, abortion would have been wrong. But what it turns out is that it's a contingent matter that you have moral status. You actually have moral status, but you might not have counted morally at all. If you had been aborted, you would have existed, but you just would have had this really very short existence in which you wouldn't have mattered morally. Another thing that you were bringing up was the idea that, in, that on my view, in aborting, we're taking away the moral status. That the fetus would have had moral status, but then by aborting, we take it away. And I think that's the wrong way to look at it. I think the right way to look at it is that just given the current state of the fetus, you know, it's not having any experiences, there's nothing about its current state that would make it a member of the moral community. It's, all, it's, the fut it's derivative of its future that it gets to have moral status. So it's really that the future endows moral status on it. And if we allow it to have this future, then we're allowing it to, to be the kind of thing that, that now would have moral status. So in aborting it, I don't think you're depriving it of something that it independently has.
That was great. I think we could talk about this forever, but uh, really, really good. Thank you. Thank you.